Local liquor store owners say one more day of business could put them out of business. Governor Daniel Malloy is hoping to revise the state's blue laws, permitting alcohol sales on Sundays. Stanford liquor store owners say Sunday sales aren't their only concern. It's everything else in the bill that um, a package store owner like myself has a problem with. Fuller is the owner of Giovanna's Wine and Spirits. He says the proposed changes, like big volume discounts, are not in favor of small businesses. If you bought 25 cases, you get a special rate. Most, most package stores can't afford to do that. The other thing is that they would choose five products a month where you could actually sell them at a loss, sell them under cost. That's only favoring the big box store as well. Owner of Crazy Grapes, Chris Patel, strongly opposes the proposed statewide medallion system. The system would allow grocers to purchase liquor licenses from package store owners and run affiliated but separate liquor stores. Patel says smaller stores are better at monitoring sales of a controlled substance. Us small retailers are already created an industry and it's a very responsible industry where we do not sell to minors. And you know, we actually monitor everything very specifically because this is our livelihood. Patel says if small liquor stores begin to close. The community here when it's a small business, uh, my heating guy is local. My refrigeration guy is local. My electrician is local. It could create a domino effect. There's over 1,200 package stores in the state and a year from now that probably will be half because of these laws if it goes through the way it is. In Stanford, Ali Warshavsky, itsrelevant.com.